week's feast, Purple Flurp from Jimmy Neutron. <gasps> Brain Blast! Something that's been requested on the show for going on five or six years, easily. People have been asking for this for a very, very long time. Very and it's one of those things about time. soda. It's hard, it's like, do you, what do you make? Do you put it in the can? What do you do? You know what? We decide today we're gonna make something out of actual grapes. Not just some like grape extract. No, we're going the real deal. Jimmy Neutron, Jimmy Neutron, Wong. He don't care. What? He what? <laughs> We're not messing around. We're making something good today, and we're doing it because this recipe deserves a good one. I love grapes. Do you love grapes? I love grapes. Well, let's make a soda out of them. Purple Flurp, according to Jimmy Neutron's universe, is 98% sugar. 98%? We don't want no part of that, so let's get down to business and make a healthy alternative that's just as satisfying to drink. Purple grapes make purple drinks, so collect them into a pot, wash them, and then mush them together while bringing the mixture to a simmer. The more the grapes sit in the water, the more you'll be able to mush them together. So after about 20 minutes, stir in your cane sugar until it's dissolved. Then remove the mixture from the heat and add it to a food processor and blend it all together until it's completely dissolved. Using a sieve, separate the grape pulp from the juice inside in another container. Refrigerate this until it's chilled. To serve, add ice to a glass and fill it with half grape concentrate and half sparkling water. Garnish with some mint leaves and voila! You've made Purple Flurp a reality with this homemade grape soda. Jimmy Wong says that this is Jimmy Neutron approved and you know what else is? The patron we shout out every week from patreon.com slash feast of fiction that makes our content possible. So this week's episode is dedicated to... Who's that patron? It's... That artificialness. Na, yes. na, na. Na, 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 wow. Na, 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 na. You guys, look at that foam on the top. Ooh. 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 Whoa. Mm. That's pretty good. When you're making this, you can choose how much grape concentrate you want to use and how much right. soda water until you can turn it up or down. But I actually like the, the small amounts of pulp you get with the grape concentrate because it's so real. I like it a lot. Don't get me wrong though, I love Welch's grape soda mm. a lot. That's not what this tastes like. This is a more natural, delicious version. Yeah. I mean, I don't think my taste buds were quite ready for it because what have we been accustomed to when we talk about grape soda? Well, Not artificial. just that. Super artificial. It's gonna Got smack you in the face with sweetness. Sugar, yeah. And I get it, right? I love to drink soda. I love to drink really high sugary things. It's something that we're really accustomed to. But you actually kind of lose out on real flavor when you do that because you're overloading one thing so much and your brain's going, yes, this is awesome. But once you start thinking about what you're actually drinking, it kind of turns you off of it a little bit. So drinking something like this, that may not be packed with flavor, but still has real flavor in it, is to me much more satisfying. I feel like I would let Sawyer drink this. So that is a good barometer. That's a great barometer. On if something is good enough. Yeah. Because I would never give my kid grape soda oh, at this no. point in life. But I feel like I could give him something like this. It's got a very minimal amount of sugar that was controlled mm -hmm. in a batch amount. And now we have this beautiful, Delight. And nothing makes me more happy than making things that are natural and delicious. Because as you right. get older, you start to realize that maybe Welch's grape soda is not the best move. How about this? Think about a regular can of soda. Look at how many grams of sugar on the back. It's anywhere between 20 and 30. Do you actually know what that means? 30 grams of sugar? That's like 30 of those individual packets all somehow crammed into one drink. You ruined my thoughts just now. I mean, look, it's delicious for a reason, and your brain is accustomed to it, and that's sort of what we grew up with. Here on the show, we've been slowly trending towards healthier and healthier, and yes. better for you as well. We baked we so many pies and cakes and stuff over the years. It takes a toll. So something it like really this, is, it definitely appeals to my heart. And it has become more important now than maybe when we initially started, that natural element. And it is a running theme of the cookbook as well. That's so right. So in the cookbook, we tried to facilitate recipes as much as possible that use natural ways of yeah. bringing them to life and less Food artificial. color especially, yeah. Yes. We tried to we avoid as much of that as possible. Natural ways to color your stuff, so. Yeah. 
I mean, here's the thing. If you're making food and spending time to make it, you should feel good after you eat it. Right. Unless it's like the everything burrito or something crazy that I mean, shouldn't that exist. That literally had like toy cars in it or something. <laughs> you shouldn't be consuming that anyway. No, no. There's enough of a barrier to entry to cooking, I think, that even just thinking about it sometimes will turn someone off of it. And look, if you want to get a super high intense professional teaching you how they do it in their professional way, there are plenty of places to do that. If you want recipes that you can do at home by yourself and easily and make them look and taste delicious. Piece of got your back. Here you are. You are at the right place. And next year we're gonna have a book that gets your back too. And that book is gonna. Oh man, I can't wait for you all to see this book. It's gonna be incredible. We can't hype it up enough. But talking about it right now yep. is a bit of a bummer because it's gonna be a year until it comes out. Actually, April. So. You know, I thought it was gonna be forever until Mulan came out. Now that is like rolling around the I corner. I mean, literally, too, so. your freaking trailer is all over everywhere and everywhere. Yeah. Did you see me in it? Yes. It was so awesome. You wielded the big stick. I'm the big stick boy. Wow. Big stick How energy. How exciting. <laughs> Basically, what he's saying is that time just flies by. It does. And the next thing you know, this will be in your hot little hands and on the bookshelves, and we couldn't be more excited. We turn everything in completely to our editors, editor yeah. this week, and then we get to do design stuff, and then it goes into production in November. So yeah. before you know it, guys, it's going to be here, and it has your back, and... We're so proud of it. Leave a comment below. Let us know what we should make next on the show. And a big thank you, as always, to our patrons who support the show and make it all a reality. Check that out. Patreon.com slash Piece of Fiction. We shout one of those lucky patrons out every single week, and you could be one of them. And as always, follow us on all these social medias. Follow us everywhere to see more quality content that will bring joy to your life. Okay, that's it. Have a great life. Thank Goodbye. Bye-bye. In my color, nigga, yeah, that's purple flirt. What's that sitting in my color, nigga? Yeah, that's purple flirt. What's that sitting in my color, nigga? Yeah, that's purple flirt.